today is not only stanchion training alley it's a uh, auto training Aiden <laughs> Don't turn it too sharp. All right, look. Too much, yeah. Yep. Straighten up. Look. You don't even need to push the gas because it's going to go enough on it. Just keep your foot on the brake. Slow. A little bit more. Good thing this thing's a shirt. All right. Good. Roll the window up, and you're done. You can start washing. All right. Just uh, just another day of stanchion training. Uh, Allie's doing great. We've actually been doing the pre-dip, as you see right there, the apple cider vinegar and the fly spray, everything together, just like we normally would. She had a little trouble getting her leg back. I had to kind of just kill placing it but once you got it back she's done great so um, stick to your stanchion training don't ever think your cow is ready until they're ready uh, don't ever think the cow is ready until they have the calf and then you still work with her but she's done great this is the first day we've stanchion trained probably in the last two or three days um, usually I try to do it daily but it's just been crazy days lately um, and we got a little rain so actually a cloudy day outside so I'm probably gonna go get some other things done but I wanted to kind of make sure that she's doing a good little stanchion training good thinking her giving her good uh, rub downs, making her feel like she's doing something good. So she's doing really good today. Um, she's getting a treat too. She's got alfalfa pellets in there, so she's going to town on those. So again, stick to uh, training your cow. If you're doing that, uh, don't ever think, well, she'll be good once she gets the calf. That, that, that doesn't tend to work the best. So make sure she's comfortable in the stanchion. She's not in any problem getting in it now. She walks right in ready for food. So that's what you want give you a glimpse of the fall peas look how great they're doing phenomenal gorgeous color uh, every one of them's doing really good we've come through this road twice already and just hoed a little of the grass out of the rows you know again um, the silage tarps and the flaming helps tremendously however it's uh, it's almost like weed suppression it's not going to automatically just kill it so you have to keep on hoeing so just take take consideration in that the silage tarps are wonderful the longer you leave them on the better but some of this old hay still can sprout some uh, seed heads. So we're watching that. We're going to keep this kind of hay out of our beds. We've got a few that we, we've seen this, this died a little bit, which is, you know, it's normal because, again, it has been very hot. I'm hoping we got a little rain today, just a tad. So I'm hoping that helped it and you'll see them shoot on up. So, But they're looking really good. I'm real pleased with what they're doing and growing and how good they're growing. Well, we came to the other farm just for an evening just to be with some family but just a beautiful afternoon look how pretty the afternoon is sun setting we're gonna move the cows uh the big cows that are up here our bull and all there here they i hear them coming Zoo! we just need to get them over on some fresh grass over this creek you see our temporary fencing going around the wood and going around the water man it's beautiful out here but look at Look at the grass, how lush it is, even with us not having rain for about four days. Again, rotational grazing is where it's at. So, let's get them moved over and uh, just enjoy the night. Zoo! 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 Come on, guys. Sue, Sue. Come on. Come on. Yep. Come on. Come on. Sue. Draw from the creek. Look how, look how pretty that little calf is. Mama. And Holly. Ginger, old Ferdinand. Good job, guys. Good job. 
Fresh grass, they love it. See, they're eating wild forest. They're actually not, a lot of this right here is just old forest. We had some sylvie pasture here where we cut some trees. So you see how a lot of this is just kind of old clover and there's some old wild weed right there and they are, they'd rather eat that than the grass. Look at them, just right here. They're eating this weed like crazy. Tearing it up. So it shows the cow will eat a lot, but they want they want it immature. They want it like baby greens almost. Um, they're tearing it up. Passing, see all oh, that's Bahia up there and Bermuda, and they kind of stopped right here at this. Uh, as you see, they're actually in this weed patch. This is actually cluster vine that they're eating. This is old silvy pasture. We had some old trees here and we cut it, and we hadn't actually got grass growing. But this is a uh, cluster vine is actually what they're eating and they're tearing it look at her they're passing up the grass for it well, it's really been a beautiful day we're ending this video with a pretty sunset over the pool the kids are playing we have a big family section up here that the kids are playing in and playing with their cousins and just end of the day on a good note but got the cows moved and this pretty field over here behind me lush grass off that creek and they look happy so uh if you hadn't subscribed to the max we hope you do and we hope you're enjoying our content god bless happy homestead y'all